the business is Red Barn Carnivores, and that's an homage to my grandpa who had a business called Red Barn Antiques, but then behind his giant red barn where he stored all the antiques, he had a giant garden. And so he taught me and my mom how to garden. It just kind of, kind of put an appreciation of nature and just growing your own stuff into my heart. And I guess from there, I've always been a little weird, interested in unique things. And I started growing fly traps, sundew, saracenia, and um, it just kind of went hand in hand with the, you know, the weird stuff, but also still the gardening aspect. So a few years ago, we went to a nursery down in Little Rock and I saw a Nepenthes ventrata, which is a pretty common hybrid produced by a tissue culture lab out in Europe. And it just kind of reawakened something in me. I had grown these back way back in the day, back in like middle school and high school with one of my buddies. And when I saw that, I just remembered, oh, these are a thing. And so I started researching them and started noticing the prices, the demand, but also just how pretty they are, how unique they are. And I did a lot of research, ended up building a grow tent out of my apartment, um, I guess a, yeah, a couple years ago at that point. And then it just kind of exploded from there. Eli has a tendency to like pick up random hobbies and mm -hmm. just get really into them. So it was just kind of like par for the course at that point. Um, it didn't surprise me. <laughs> I, uh, I, and then of course, when he was making money off of it, it's great. It's like you found a hobby that you really enjoy, but it's also contributing to our home. So mm -hmm. go for it. We, we grow primarily carnivorous plants, Venus flytrap, Saracenia, Sundew, uh, Nepenthes, but we also grow elephant ears, caladiums, just random stuff that we find cool. We're hoping to eventually move into a more holistic one-stop shop. So there's a lot of rare aeroids or like I said, elephant ears, uh, ficuses, just palm trees. There's, there's industries for everything. There's a lot of demand for a lot of different things. I think we've noticed too, like we've gone to some like local farmer's markets here and plant mm -hmm. sales here and people are interested in the carnivorous plants. Very interested in Venus fly traps. That's something most people are familiar with. Um, but we also have people that ask about what other plants we have. So I think we've seen a bigger market for kind of the elephant ears and banana trees mm -hmm. and stuff like that locally. Um, and they're kind of like slowly getting into the idea of having a carnivorous plant. Mm -hmm. They're not quite, it seems complicated to take care of. They're not quite sure they can handle it. Um, so we've, just, we've seen that as well as a particular market locally. And we eventually want to get to the point where we have multiple greenhouses that are servicing a whole wide range of customers. Um, one of the business points that we've seen for a lot of, of our competitors is they only focus on one thing. So they, they focus on, for example, um, there's, a, there's a company based in Tennessee that they only really do really complex hybrids. So like 12 or 13 parent plants, which are really, really pretty. But there are some people who are species purists. They only want, you know, uh, primary hybrids or something like that. Or um, they just fail to diversify, which limits their customer base. So we're hoping to add a wide range of stuff that will allow us to service a bunch of different people. We are on redbarncarnivores.com, and you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash redbarncarnivores. We have a group you can join. It's Carnivorous Plants HQ, so headquarters HQ. And then uh, you can find us on Instagram at, at redbarncarnivores as well.